pupils and students of Nigeria's Chibok region have not stepped into a classroom since the abduction of 249 girls two years ago. Now, the residents of these area claim that the government has abandoned them. Here's CCTV's Catherine Nogunde with more. The stark reminder of what took place at Chibok Girls Secondary School still lay here two years on. After 276 girls were abducted from the school by Boko Haram militants, Residents are finding it difficult to pick up the pieces of the life they once had, not for the lack of trying. All we need is for our children, our people to continue to further the excursions. But for now, two years, no school, no learning into work. Nigeria's previous government, under the then president Goodluck Jonathan, pledged to build a new school. We have been begging government to open even a secondary school government secondary school for boys up to now nothing only this female school and the female school now where is it huh? and really Boko Haram has achieved their aim by saying that they don't want the Western education you know we are redundant we are abandoned by the government in fact we are very sorry to mention because uh, since this thing happens we have a lot of children uh, just living at home without doing anything and we are, very, we are poor enough, no road, no market, no water supply, no electricity. 219 girls are still being held by Boko Haram. Some parents cling on to the hope that they will return one day. When I see my daughter coming back to me, I will feel very much joy in my heart. All the small sickness and other things will disappear and I will be very happy in my life. Since their daughters went missing, 18 parents have either died or have been killed by Boko Haram. Statistics in a conflict that has killed 20,000 since 2009. Some of the remaining parents have moved to a nearby town called Mbalala. Catherine Ogunde, CCTV.